13 years old. And it's, oh, I know. it's just been a beautiful parallel to look at our careers. And I, I'm going to unveil a lot of that, a lot of things that people may not know from that rivalry. It was truly a rivalry. But for me, man, it was always respect. You know, because Roy no. set the bar. Roy set the bar so high. A lot of people didn't think anybody would ever reach that bar. But you know what? I was just on my grind. I stayed in the gym. Oh. And I never, I never lost confidence in myself. And I remember, no matter who I would be in contact with, I never let anybody change my mind or my thought process leading up to that fight and even beyond. Once it was locked in here, nobody was changing my mind. So sometimes you gotta be that way in order to achieve your goal. I achieved my goal, man, and I, I, I congratulate Roy for a, 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 a luxurious career. And without him, it would be no me. So, you know, I'm always grateful. And you gotta learn why I even got back in the ring after taking a long hiatus. And you'll be surprised who was my inspiration. Even to this day, I look back and say, if it wasn't for him, I may have never got off the couch. Wow. Those are the words of <clears throat> Antonio Tarver. Um, Antonio Tarver, of course, is or was the lightweight champion. You know, he beat Eric Harding. Uh, he had three magnificent fights with a legend, Roy Jones Jr. And, you know, he was a fighter that was overlooked. And in this passage, he explained what Roy meant to him, who Roy was uh, in his career. If there wasn't any Roy Jones, there would be no him. You know, just like if there wasn't any Manny Pacquiao, there be, really wouldn't be a Juan Manuel Marquez. You know what I mean? Even though Marquez have done his, his you know, he, you know, his solidified his mark, but the mark was December 8th, 2012, when he knocked out Manny Pacquiao, two minutes and 59 seconds in the sixth round, okay? So that was what it was. Antonio Tarver, it just shows that he's grateful for where he was and where what he did to the sport and how he was motivated because Roy was an elite fighter to the point you know, before Floyd Mayweather was Floyd Money Mayweather, there was Roy Jones. See, Roy Jones was by himself, okay? Roy, Floyd wasn't thought of, uh, uh, thought of like that, even though he was fighting. He wasn't that, he wasn't that fighter, and he, never, he, didn't, he wasn't at that level yet, okay? Roy Jones Jr. was at that level. He was the only man just, just sitting there, you know, just Roy Jones. And he, for years, he had real, no real competition. You know, the only person that gave him problems, they had to uh, disqualify him for a loss, and that, and that was uh, Griffin, okay? So Griffin was the guy that was a southpaw, and he was a counterpuncher, and he gave him a small amount of problems until he made Roy mad, and Roy knocked him out twice, okay? So back to Antonio Tarver. He's writing a book or whatnot, and he reveals in this book, like, you know, how grateful he is for rivalries. See, people don't understand. You are not your, you are no one without the people that you fight. Okay? See, and a lot of times people would say this. Let's say Floyd Mayweather would have never fought Manny Pacquiao. Do you think Floyd would be where he is today? Hmm. It's a question you ask yourself. Yeah, he beat a lot of champions. You know, but at that elite level, those elite wins, those elite fights, those, those super fights, right? Those are the fights that people remember. Okay. So, again, it just lets you know that Antonio Tarver, not only is he grateful, he's also experienced and knows that what's important and who's important. A lot of people like to hold grudges. A lot of people like to live behind their ego until they drop dead. But real, you never really see who that real person is. You don't see or get to know who that person is and what's that, you know, that, that person's real thoughts on a, on a fighter. And I, I, I appreciate this passage. I'll leave the link below. And it just shows how Antonio Tarver knows what it means to be great, 
what it means to uh, fight the best. And I think a lot of these fighters today could learn from the generation before us or generations before us, okay? Like Antonio Tarver. But anyway, you guys tell me what you think about Antonio's uh, uh, comments. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys have been counterpunched. Peace.